Someone's been studying up on helicopters. Okay. Has it been this Ann chick? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just my wedding ring. It's gone. Oh. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but it's all I have left of you. My dear Sebastian. Do you have any idea where it might be? Lady, a hint would be great! A fucking ring isn't exactly the most shiniest thing in the world. Unless that guy brought you a big load of diamond. Whoa. Man, this place is starting to get filled out. Howdy! See you taking up cigarettes, pretty nice. In the hangar. Bet he's tinkering with them helicopters. Fergus, do you have anything neat in your room? I mean, besides the fucking bomb just chilling out right there? Oh, I need some friendly conversation. But first, we must find the tools! To help out our good friend. Oh! Found the ring! Next to the toilet! Well, that seems to be in order. Oh, what is this? Fergus took that welder. Borrowed welder. Ah! Alright, Fergus is all the way inside of the area. So I think the practice in this area has definitely helped me with throwing knifing some Nazis. I'm very glad that this place was here. Otherwise, I would have been like, eh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to aim them. And then I just like throw knives at railings again. I actually went back and looked at it. The reason I missed that that really far back knife throw was because the knife physically went over into the railing while I while my crosshair was below. So it was just like, I'm aiming there, but it went up there because, well, it's a fucking knife. Okay, is there anything here besides replaying through the nightmare again? I don't, th I don't think the nightmare changes, unfortunately, so I'm good. <laughs> I don't need to play through the Wolfenstein level again. But what I can do is get a little bit of rest. Aw. Captain Blaskovich, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for leading me back to my wife. Wait. I had lost her. Anne. I have lost so many. I guess there are multiple chicks named Anne. Anne, here. That's not surprising, it's just confusing. Hello. Okay. Hi, Max. Max Haas! Blaskovich! Blaskovich! Do you have anything hidden inside your room today? Where'd all your toys go? I hope we didn't lose them again. I went through a good amount of effort to find them. Alright, let's get a little bit of rest. So that way I can get a free health upgrade. Ah! The fuck? Jesus Christ, Tekla! Why aren't you asleep? I try not to sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. Let me ask you something. He will not understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? <laughs> surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of said process. Blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you as you were in the past. And you have a sensation of riding along this continuum of being you into the future. Do you follow me? Doesn't look like it. Continuing. On occasion, the brain may be subjected to trauma, temporarily discontinuing the electrochemical process such as a boxer being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? No, it's too stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? 
If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness, the new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness, so it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter, inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. Uh, what about the soul? <sighs> oh, God. I knew he was stupid. There's no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul is simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she didn't wake up from any of that fucking rapid pace talking. That was not even, like, quiet. Uh, she brings up interesting points, that's for sure. What to make of you, I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data, Nazi activity, behavioral patterns, hours, theirs, doing the math, developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. We talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> you think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. My actions are my own. I know that much. All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh -huh. So what's with the arsenal? Preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. Maybe you should stock up on ammo. With firearms. Will you teach me? <laughs> well, that was a nice bit of character development. Wow, never really figured that they would actually do that. And there's my reward. Okay. On the thought process, uh, on, on the thought of that, I think that maybe she's a little bit misguided about things. She wants to be logical at the same time as question the whole point of things. Like, oh, well, are you dead if you lose consciousness? And I'm like, well, it depends on what you define as dead. The fact that she's even considering, or the fact that she's even so logical about all the first stuff makes it kind of illogical that she thinks the way she does about the other stuff. I, I, I can't explain it completely right now. Let me just give this ring back. It was next to the toilet, you're welcome. You found it. Thank you. I really recommend washing that and then your hands and then probably everything else. I mean, <laughs> we're not exactly in the best living conditions here. Do we even have a fucking bathtub? I don't even know. Oh. Wait. <laughs> I went for the smaller one. You still got it, old man. <laughs> but you went for the smaller weight. Dude, you're fucking jacked. You should be able to lift up all of them. Oh, is there something back here? Ah. See, it's a good thing I just had to explore. Let's see. Let me see if I can process what I want to say about what Teclas said in a decent manner. Okay. So... My thoughts for what Tekla brought up, I think, can kind of be summed up in that I believe her definition of death is lacking. Because in my opinion, the definition of death is the permanent discontinuation of consciousness. You're never gonna wake up because your brain's been destroyed, that kind of stuff, you know? The only real way for someone to
to have their brain still continue on in a different manner uh, after their brain's been destroyed would be if they were cloned beforehand. Now that would be a completely different thought. You go there, you never come back. It's all thanks for that big guy. Blaskowitz, they call him. Apparently, he spent the last 14 years in a, in a madhouse. I heard he was hospitalized after an injury. Both are true. But that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? You'd have to be crazy to break into both Eisenwald and Belitza. And make it back alive. I think he's brave. Brave and crazy. Sometimes there's no difference, fellas. Shh, it's him. Hey! Let's, uh, let's all stand together and just kind of rub our arms, and then just kind of stand. Right there. Those Nazis! Man, evil! Yeah. Alright, let's go find Fergus. I'm sure he's by the sound of the... blowtorch. Oh. That's electricity! Not a blowtorch! Although sometimes there's no difference. Unless we don't have electric blowtorches. We could have fuel-based blowtorches right now. Hi. You're looking at me for answers, are you? I have answers, you ape. Real answers of importance. Meaningful answers. None of which you would like. Most of which would make you want to lay down on your back and surrender. Most of which would put a pit in your stomach. Most of which would break your heart. You should find your answers elsewhere. Tekla, I think you need to calm down, girl. Oh, there's Fergus. Uh, okay, by blowtorch, I think, let's see, welder. Welders, welders are what I'm thinking of, right, because I've used an electric welder before. Kind of okay-ish, too. And then I burned through the metal, and that was uh, an interesting experience. Hi, Ferg. What do you want, Blasco? That's not where it was. Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute, no, you're right, you're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. The fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but you want the welder, you go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. Go over there. You should find the welder somewhere down in the water somewhere. Alright, so all the way back is, yeah, the area that we came in on. Man, Ferg. As long as you don't become too distant, I just kind of figured we'd be... Buddy, buddy. You know that. Always thinking of others. Doing your best to lighten the burden of those around you. <laughs> right? I don't know how on God's green earth I could do this without breaking my sodden back if you didn't pitch in. I mean, look at you, eh? All sleeves rolled up, striding to work like... You won't rest until what needs doing is done, eh? Tell me, you never get trapped in your own insane mind now, do you? Bloody fucking marvelous. Perhaps you should take a wee break there, Tackler. You know, you could get to nasty, pus-filled blisters on the soles of your feet. Or develop the mother of all pains in your back that hurts so fucking much you want to stab your own eyeballs out with whatever utensils within arm's reach just for a wee moment's distraction. No, I'm doing fine, really. <laughs> fucking Christ almighty! <laughs> No, I'm fine. Fergus Reed, I know things about the future. You people are merely wandering the darkness, utterly ignorant as to whether the sun will rise tomorrow. So tell me, Professor, are we going to win this fight? Yeah! Oh, really now? 
How did you manage to gather all the variables to reach that conclusion, hmm? Might it have something to do with his ability to execute missions never before dreamed of? Or perhaps it's his ability to remain calm under the most disturbing of circumstances. I don't know if calm's the way I'd describe it. Incredibly attuned sense of aggression. No! Wait, I've got it. I've got it. It could be the fact that he's the biggest goddamn Nazi killing machine ever to walk the planet Earth. There you go again, provoking me for no reason. By the way, you should stack the crates short and facing the door. You care about space optimization. <laughs> Ah, I like these characters. I like them a lot. And I also like that, uh... They kind of went through the effort to actually, like, animate them completely in comparison to most games. I mean... <laughs> they did that too. <laughs> the, um... Most of the regular citizens just kind of stand around, so that's, like, the most disappointing part. They just stand around... Staring at stuff. A lot of them have like the same models, but the actual characters, uh, the actual main slash supporting characters. Well, well, all I can tell you is, last time I saw it was when it fell out of my fucking hand into the water over by the secret fountain entrance. Uh, but they, these guys are actually like animated completely. They have the different facial animations, so you can see how she reacted. Go to the room where all the people are and head out the yellow door and start swimming. Why are there so many people here? They talk and eat and look so stupid when they sleep. Encroaching on my headspace is what they are doing all the time. Shush, 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 Tekla. I am appreciating the finer art of animation and good story writing and character development. I just like the cutscenes. Like, I, uh, I started noticing it when I had- when I reload and had to go and watch an entire dialogue between, um, Caroline and Ant- wait. What was her name again? Shit! I forgot the name of the love interest! Anya. Okay, it's pretty close to Anna. Uh, but yeah, I was just kind of watching him. Then like they fully, I like it. I'm just saying, it's good. Sup? Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought. But uh, I need to get through that door. Ugh, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changing. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I would drink with you in celebration, Veneer, that time comes. You're on. <laughs> I like that thought. Kill all the Nazis! I think that's the entire theme of everything. Uh-oh. Hey, Bambate! Bambate was raised on the streets of Windhawk, Nam... Nam... Namibia? Namibia... I am completely butchering that, just like everything else. As the Nazis began conquering more and more of the African continent, Bombate traveled north to fight them. After two years of leading successful counterattacks on the invading army, Bombate was captured and imprisoned in a forced labor camp. I'm surprised they don't just kill him. I mean, if he was if he was pretty successful at actually performing actions, ah, here we go. Then I'd just kill him so he never has a chance. You know? I mean, they fucking butcher and murder everybody else, so it's not like killing a guy who is actually a threat. Oh god, it wasn't water. So it's not like killing a guy who's actually a threat would be looked down upon by everybody else. You know? Unless they just want to make him suffer. You know? Spend out his years. See, look at this! The fucking Nazis are like capturing entire families for probably nothing. So I don't understand. I don't. I don't know why they left Bombati alive. Fergus, I think, was about to die too. I'm just saying. Sometimes the Nazis are pretty impractical for killing people, or uh, for people so evil that they usually just kill everybody. 
Ah well, I'm glad they didn't kill Bombate. Even when that lady came over to the truck and tried. What am I doing? Can I shoot this? No. Well, alright. I wonder if I've missed any upgrades. Oh, maybe I can jump! Did that... Is this gonna lead me anywhere? Uh, I'm really confused. There's a laser charge station. Which means... There it is. There's something here. For me to shoot with the laser. Oh, we're on the other side of that door now! The one I wanted to get into before! At least I think I am. And there's gonna be a thing on this house? <laughs> well, hey, maybe they are constructing a city. It just might not be beautiful. Ooh. Strobe? The laser has been upgraded with a strobe attachment. When firing the weapon, this attachment produces a blinding flash of light while... which temporarily disorients any target facing it. Oh! Neat! So that sounds like it'd be pretty useful. It, it, it makes me actually use the laser in combat. When I have it... So many conversations to listen on. Hey, I see it's that exact spe expectation. That's allowing us to stay hidden directly underneath you guys, and I'm so glad about that. I still haven't... Still haven't found any wooden boxes to break. People keep on noting it, but they never point out any, like, time codes when I'm passing by that I'm like, Ah, those are the boxes that you're supposed to destroy, and I'm like, oh, okay. But no, no, that, 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 that's the opposite of what they do. I'm just gonna go, you missed the boxes! Which is about as useful as, you know, me walking right past them anyways. Okay. Why am I shooting these down? Oh! Oh! I can see where things are going from here. 